Hi everyone, I'm Mrs Phillips and I work in the Maths Department in Frederick Brummer School. I am pleased to be able to give you a brief presentation about Year 7 and Key Stage 3 Maths. Hopefully I will address any questions you have. If not, there is a chance for you to ask questions at the end of the presentation. If you type them into the chat, I will try to answer them live at the end. Anything I am unsure about, I will endeavour to find out and let you know. Just to give you an outline, as I could talk for hours about maths, maths lessons are taught four times a week for one hour each lesson, and that is across each year group. Teachers continue to take their classes into the next year. For example, if we're teaching a year seven class, you will take that same class into year eight, year nine, and hopefully all the way to GCSE. We find the continuity helps students progress as they seem more comfortable. Teachers are currently uploading daily their lessons onto Google Classroom, an online shared area allowing students to access the lessons when they are at home, whether they are absent due to illness or isolating from this global pandemic. However, this is subject to change depending on government guidelines with regards to COVID-19. The Maths Department currently plan and teach from Complete Maths Scheme of Work, which is a mastery cur cur curriculum, meaning teaching is not delivered to a rigid time frame. It is based on the student's learning, and only when they understand or they are happy with what they've been taught do they move on. Complete Maths is used throughout years 7 to 11. It is a breakdown of all units, of all the skills needed at all levels up to GCSE and is accessible to all students. We also use it an assess as an assessment tool to gauge progress and ability. Mastery lessons help students engage in problem solving and we carry this out with tasks in both groups and individually and encourage maths in real life scenarios. These are just a few skills uh, the students will cover ranging from place value Algebra, an old favourite, and perimeter and volume. All topics easily adapted to real life problem solving. One day a week is based on numeracy, where every class in Key Stage 3, 7 to 9, and some in Key Stage 4, use a numeracy ninja booklet and Times Tables Rockstar booklet, where they can practice their numeracy skills, the basis in which to start mastery teaching. Initially, Year 7 are taught in mixed ability groups from the September when they start and are later placed in sets. These sets will be based on their SAT scores, attainment and teacher input. We hold assessments at the end of each term to ensure children are on track and where they mean, may need further support. These grades are uploaded in reports to parents. Students do have the chance to move sets from these assessments. The set they're in does not mean that they are set in stone and they will be in that set all the way through secondary school. They can move sets. Higher ability students are able and are encouraged to participate in the UKMT Maths Challenge. It's a year 7 to 10, which is a national competition and allows a whole day excursion which you will receive more information about at a later date. Obviously, the whole day excursion is not possible at the moment due to not being able to visit other schools, but they can still take part in the UK Maths Challenge at our school. Homework. We use an online, online learning resource called Hegarty Maths, where students have the access to, math, to all maths topics, from primary school to GCSE. There are hundreds upon hundreds of videos, so they won't get bored. They can be set as homework tasks, but are also available to students as a learning resource to revise or review topics themselves. If a student cannot access Hegarty Maths for whatever reason, uh, they cannot access the internet, then they can be given an alternative paper uh, homework copy. Homework is set weekly and we expect them to be 
Completed by the following week, it should take about 30 minutes in all. It involves watching a video, making notes from that video, and then doing a quiz, which is approximately 8 to 12 questions. This tests the understanding from the video. Additional support. Students with additional needs will be supported by teaching assistants in class who have an extensive range of resources such as laptops, whiteboards and different mathematical visual aids. Alongside the differentiated lessons that the teacher has planned allows all students to access their learning. Any further concerns that are identified that are not initially known will be passed to our SEN department and our SENCO, Ms Mills, who will try to ensure relevant support is provided for these students. Thank you. I hope this has answered a few of your questions. Please, if you have any further questions, please type them into the chat and I will see if I can answer them for you. Thank you.